Hello children, welcome back to our part 2 video of today's assignment of English language. Okay, so children I hope you all have watched my first part video of today's assignment that was on chapter number 1 about words in which I have explained you about words that what are words, how we form a word, how we form a sentence and we have also learnt in this chapter about compound words. Okay, what are compound words? Is that clear? So, after that children, I told you that we will start with, uh, with our book exercise. So, today we are going to do some book exercises. But before starting with our book exercise children, I want to ask you all that have you all understood with the topic of about words? Those who have not understood... Children, please again watch the video carefully and if you are not able to understand, then in the comment box you can write what you are not able to understand. Is that clear? Then I will explain it to you again. Is that clear to you all children? Now, first of all, what we are, uh, I want to ask you all that I hope you all have bought your books. Those who have not bought your books and notebooks, please make sure that you buy it as soon as possible because it is very important for you all to have your book set with you. Is that clear? Now, children, starting with today's video, take out your English language textbook that is the Grammarian. Okay, book number 2 for class 2 and turn to page number 6. Okay, here is page number 6. You can all see exercise. There are some book exercises. Uh, so, to, today we are going to do only 2 book exercises and then tomorrow we will do other exercises. Okay, so before starting children... Uh, make sure that your books, uh, your English grammar books should be with you all. Okay. So, today we are going to do book exercise part A. Recognize the things given in the pictures below and fill in the missing letters to complete their names. Now, in this exercise, what you have to do children, there are some pictures given and under those pictures, there are some blocks given in which some letters are written and other letters are missing so we have to identify the picture first we have to see that what is the picture about and then we have to write its name here okay and uh, some words are some letters are written here we have to fill in the missing letters by watching the pictures okay by identifying the pictures so are you all ready for this exercise children it is very easy also so our first picture is of as you can see what is this children yes correct this is an apple okay and here we are given with letter a so what we have to write a is written here what is the spelling of apple a p p l e e is already written a and e is written we have to write p p l a p p l e apple now coming to the next uh, picture what is this children you can see yes very easy these are grapes so what we will write g is written r a p e s grapes g r a p e s grapes now coming to the third picture what is this this is a mango correct so the spelling of mango is m a n g o mango correct now coming to the fourth picture what is this children you can all see banana so the spelling of banana is b a n a n a banana okay so, spelling of banana, B-A-N-A-N-A, -A -N -A, banana. Clear? Now, coming to the next line, next picture, fifth picture. This is a flower and the name of this flower is rose. So, R is written here. We have to write O-S-E is also written here. R-O-S-E, rose. Is that clear? Now, coming to the next type of a flower and this flower is known as lily. The name of this flower is lily. 
so l is written y is written we have to fill in the um, uh, letters in the middle so the spelling of lily is l i l y lily clear now coming to the next picture this is a picture of a kind of another flower and this flower is known as tulip so the spelling of tulip is t u l i p tulip is that clear now coming to the eighth picture this is also a flower and the name of this flower is lotus so spelling of lotus l o t u s is that clear l is written you have to write o t u and s is also written so the correct spelling is l o t u s lotus now coming to the next line first uh, next line ninth picture this is a picture of an animal with, uh, whose name is lion this animal is known as lion so the spelling of lion is l is written i o n n is also written l i o n lion clear now next 10th picture is of goat g o a t goat next is bear 11th picture is of bear b is written e a r is also written b e a r bear the next is as you can see uh, this uh, what kind of animal there uh, is it this is a monkey m o n k e y monkey is that clear children i hope you all are getting this exercise very easily easily you can understand this now next is this is a thing what thing is it this is this is a pen p e n pen now this is a painting brush so we only have to write brush b r u s h brush now this is an eraser e r a s e r eraser now what is this 16th picture is of a book b o o k book i hope you all have understood this now coming to the next page picture number 17 this is a bird and what kind of bird this is eagle e a g l e eagle then this is crane c r a n e crane now this is owl o w l owl and in the last this is crow c r o w crow clear to you all coming to the next line this is a chair so spelling of chair c h a i r chair now this is a desk okay so what you will write d e s k desk is that clear now next 23rd picture is of stool okay so s t o o l stool coming to the next 24th picture this is a sofa s o f a sofa is that clear now coming to the last line what is this picture this picture is showing us a balloon so spelling of balloon is b is written a l l o o n is also written so the correct spelling is b a l l o o n balloon now in the picture number 26 this is a basket so what you will write b a s k e t basket is that clear now the picture number 27 is showing us a knife so the spelling of knife is k n i f e knife okay in the spelling of knife we spell it as we when we pronounce we pronounce it as knife but the spelling we write with start with k k is silent when we pronounce okay so k n i f e knife now coming to the last 28th picture this is of a plate p l a t e plate so children i hope you all have understood all these 28 pictures and you all have written uh, you all have understood the spellings of these 28 pictures now please complete this book exercise in your uh, textbook on page number 6 and 7 now coming to 
part B. Okay, in this you can see this is a shop where different types of sports goods are being sold. यहाँ पे बहुत तरीके के sports की चीजें मिल रही हैं. Okay, sports मतलब खेल की चीजें like bat, ball, carrom. Okay, shuttlecocks and uh, footballs, basketballs and pads, chess board you can see here. Okay. Racket you can see here. So all these things are being sold in this shop. So what you have to do? Turn the page. Okay, on page number eight, you can see here there are some jumbled words given here. Okay, and from these jumbled words, you have to form correct words of the uh, goods which are being sold in the sh in that shop. Okay, so. So this is a shop where some uh, sports goods are being sold. So you have to write the names of these sports goods. Okay, here are some jumbled words. Number one to ten are some jumbled words of sports good. Is that clear? So let's get started. What is the first word? K C O E C U T L T H S. From this, what we can make? What correct word will be made from this jumbled word? Yes, correct. Shuttlecocks. S H U T T L E. Shuttle. Cock. C O C K S. Cocks. Is that clear? Shuttle. Cock. Or you can remove S. Don't write S. Only you can write shuttle. Cock. Okay. Now coming to the next word that is A T B. Now what is A T B? Uh, how you will form this in a correct manner? This will be. Bat, B A T, bat. Is that clear? Now, children, coming to the third word, Q A R C E U T. Now, from this jumbled word, we can make racket. Okay. So, what is the correct spelling of racket? R A C Q U E T, racket. Is that clear, children? Now, coming to the fourth word, E V G O L S. Now what is this children this is correct word is gloves so the spelling of gloves is g l o v e s gloves clear now the fifth word is a p d s correct word is pads p a d s pads is that clear now coming to the sixth word sixth word is s h e c s now from this we can make Chess, C H E S S, chess, and O B D R A is board, B O A R D. Correct word is chess board. Clear. Now next is seventh word is R A C O R M. So from this you can make carom, C A R R O M. Carom is the correct word. Next is L A L B O F O T. Okay, so from this uh, jumbled word, you can make the correct word that is football. F O O T foot B A L L ball. Football is the correct answer. Next is V L O L A L B Y L E. So from this jumbled word, what will be what correct word will be formed? Volleyball. V O L L E Y volley and B A L L ball. Volleyball. Is that clear, children? Now coming to the last. That is tenth word jumbled word. O H K Y C E. That is hockey. H O C K E Y hockey and C S K I T will be stick. S T I C K stick. So the correct word is hockey stick. Is that clear, children? So once again, I'm repeating. First word will be shuttlecock. That is S H U T T L E C O C K shuttlecock. Second is bat. B A T bat. Third is racket. R A C Q U E T racket. Next is gloves. G L O V E S gloves. Fifth word is pads, P A D S pads. Then sixth word is chess board, C H E S S chess, B O A R D board, chess board. Seventh word is carom, C A R R O M carom. Eighth word is football, F O O T foot, B A L L ball, football. 
नाइन्थ वर्ड इज वॉली बॉल वी ओ एल एल ई वाई वॉली एंड बी एल एल बॉल वॉली बॉल एंड द लास्ट वन इज हॉकी स्टिक एच ओ सी के ई वाई हॉकी एस टी आई सी के स्टिक हॉकी स्टिक सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर टूडे चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड बोथ द टू एक्सरसाइजेज ए एंड बी पार्ट एंड प्लीज मेक श्योर चिल्ड्रन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वेरी केयरफुली ट्राई टू डू दीज एक्सरसाइजेज ऑन योर own is that clear children so till my next video in my next video we will be doing other two exercises that is c and d part so before starting with that video i will i hope that you will all complete these two exercises on time and then you will be ready with your books again tomorrow and we will do this exercise tomorrow is that clear children so till my next video bye bye take care stay at home and stay safe